winner in the NFL, Paul Horty. Four. Number five is the golden boy, Paul Horning. Paul Horning, when coming out of Notre Dame, Heisman Trophy winner, a lot of hype around him. He was one of these very, very versatile backs. That's quarterback Paul Horning with the ball, carrying for 25 yards against SMU. We were wondering, what is he going to do in the pros? What will his what will his niche be? Touchdown, Notre Dame! He's kind of the last in the line of players who did multiple things the way he did them. 31 counter on three. Ready? Up! Our number four Heisman winner almost missed out on the main qualification to make our list. Paul Horning barely won the Heisman. Of all the players on this list, Paul Horning had the lowest number of Heisman votes. It was a really interesting vote that year. Jim Brown took the East. Tommy McDonald took Texas and Oklahoma. Paul Horning took uh, the Midwest. But the Golden Boy prevailed and took home the Heisman hardware. I think of Paul Horning Packers great, not Paul Horning Notre Dame great. Paul Horning, to me, might have been one of the more overrated players in the NFL, and I think that even might be a little high on that list. He didn't do anything great, but he did a lot of things well. You're entitled to your opinion, Pete. Just don't express it around Bart Starr. I'm not sure enough people realize how talented this man was. Not only was he a Heisman Trophy winner, he was an excellent runner. He was an excellent blocker. Watch Paul Horning's block on a blitzing Colt linebacker, shake Taylor loose. He was a great pass receiver. He threw our option pass very, very well. He was a great kicker. Three straight incomplete passes give Paul Horning another chance to swing his golden toe. Everything that we called on him to do, he excelled at. He became what he had to be to make us successful. And Paul could do it all, and he did love to score, both on the field and off, I guess. That was Goldilocks in a nutshell. When you think of the Packers sweep, which was one of the most vaunted, most historic plays of all time, it was Horning carrying the ball. What we're trying to get is a seal here and a seal here and try to run this play in the alley. Get the block. He's inside the 10. He's at the 5. Cuts into the end zone for the touchdown. And there you saw the Green Bay Packers power sweep as of days of yore. Despite his golden boy status, debate is rampant on Paul Hornick's placement on our list. He was a great player. He's two-time MVP in the National Football League, Heisman Trophy, Pro Football Hall of Fame, and above all, a winner. If you just simply look at the stat sheet of rushing yards and that sort of thing, you're like, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not sure that resume is big enough. When you watched him play, you knew you were watching a star. He should be in there in the top five, I would think, without any question, and I would nudge him up a point or two. I don't think there's any way you guys should have Paul Hornig right ahead of Tim Tebow or Earl Campbell. Other than the fact he was a golden domer. Some golden domers make that choice.